Now, Alan, Ealing, 45, Bedford, 25. Just tell us how pleased you are with that. Oh, over the moon. We think we, um, the first two weeks of the season, we've, we've not done ourselves justice. So I think we really went out there in that game and uh, performed to, to where we should, ha uh, should be. Uh, first half, obviously, things, things were getting into it. And, yeah. um, like we said, the lead changed hand, I think, five times. So we sat down at half time, we really came out in that second half and did exactly what we expected of ourselves. So I think that's the pleasing thing that comes from it. Yeah, how close was that as a performance to kind of the way that we want to play throughout the season? I think, I think it's got to be up. There's a lot of praise from from coaches, from the other lads and stuff, like obviously the experience. So I think that's, that's the expectations we've got, to, we've got to have of ourselves. Yeah, yeah you might not play to, play to that week in, week out, but if we can get anywhere near that performance week in, week out, we, we stand in good stead. Yeah, um, from the outside, two bonus point wins out of two looked uh, pretty encouraging, but I know there were some fairly frank words said on Monday after the game against Richmond, and it seems to have really kind of united the group, and that was a superb performance this afternoon. Yeah, like, um, I, think, I think we had a stern word, like more so with ourselves, not even from the, the coaching aspect yeah. of things. Um, but I think we, we deserve to give a performance for ourselves, um, but again, it's great to get that performance at home in front of the wall. In front of the fans, had a great turnout again today. Um, even better than my old man, stuff's come down from Scotland, so... The, uh, the man of the match obviously makes it a little bit sweeter, but again, the, yeah, there's been a lot of good individual performances there, but again, that's probably the best team performance we've had in, uh, had in a while. Yeah, uh, just a two-point lead at half-time, but then we really kicked on from there and didn't really look back. What was said at the break uh, in particular? I don't think it was anything in particular said. Um, I think it was just a combination of things. I don't think we were in a bad bad place at the end of the, end of the first half. Um, but again, we came out with a lot of passion, a lot of desire in that second half, just, just to play like controlled rugby and I think we did that I think we like executed things very well um, line up went well the backs moves linked very smoothly so I think both forwards and backs are a massive credit today yeah you must have been really pleased with how the line out and particularly the scrum function as well quite oh, a lot of penalties off that yeah definitely um, I think I think the boys deserve deserve to have a good drink in the bar and stuff after and really enjoy enjoy the win today um, again we'll start our third, third bonus point of the season so yeah definitely sit down and enjoy it um, but again there's massive credit to the backs like, they yeah. create a lot of space and stuff today um, makes it easy for us when we're going forward as a, as a pack so. yeah how good is it when you give them the front football and you know that they're going to be making the odds that they did particularly in that second half uh, oh, just, definitely. As forward pack. You, you end up you end up playing with a smile on your face yeah. and stuff like um, the one that sticks in my mind we had a line up on the far side went straight off the top straight to the backs and they ran in the corner I think uh, I think I had to move maybe three or four meters so I put a big smile on my face I just had to walk back to halfway so it was just great to see a couple of boys really really stand up to the front performances in today. Uh, good to see a couple of boys back like Miles Mantella and stuff as well. So, yeah, it's just it was an all all round performance, especially that second half. Yeah, personally for you, you went over for your second try in two weeks and yes. also got the Man of the Match award. Must be pretty pleased with that. Oh, definitely. Um, oh, I set to set to Drew for trying not to score one today, so I could try and close the gap on him. <laughs> but um, yeah, again, like I've not had to do much for that try. I've literally sat at the back of the mall, so the credit goes to the other lads. Uh, yep, and just finally, um, three wins out of three, and now we head to London. Uh, head, we host London Scottish next weekend. Uh, head into that with a lot of confidence. Oh, definitely. I think uh, there's a lot to lot to gain from today. Um, but again, I'm not. I'm not sure how the results went, but again, it's going to be a local derby. Um, they'll be up for it for sure. Um, obviously, a new season. We, um, we did a job on them last year, but that's nothing to lean back on anymore. Um, we've got a good squad, so obviously a couple of excellent boys as well. So it'll be nice to see them. But I think we, again, we've got to really knuckle down this weekend. And, all guns blazing again next week. Well done today. Perfect. Outstanding. Thank you very much. Uh, Codders, that's our third bonus point win of the season, but as a performance, you must be absolutely delighted with that one. Uh, absolutely thrilled. I think uh, we, we all recognise in the first two weeks there's, there's been some good passages of play, but we've not been, uh, I've been ourselves, and I thought today you saw real, uh, a real team performance, 1-22, to and uh, particularly second half, some outstanding tries. And the most pleasing thing was when we got on the front foot, we, we really capitalised and... Uh, against a very good Bedford team and I thought overall it was an outstanding effort for the championship. Yeah, um, at half time it was very close but we really kicked on in the second half as a 40 minutes uh, as a 40 minute spell you must be really really delighted with uh, that second half. Oh thrilled. I think as you say 1 to 15 I thought the decision making when to kick and when to run I thought our energy uh, our accuracy and I thought it was a real team performance so look still plenty to work on but it's, it's amazing what seven days uh, yeah. can do. Yeah, I mean, I know the players kind of had a few frank words on Monday after the Richmond performance, and it seems like they really put it all out on the pitch today. Yeah, I think the one thing I'd say is we're very lucky. It's, it's a fantastic profession to, to play a game you love uh, as your job, and we, we just didn't look like a, we were enjoying it last week. And uh, But I think today you saw smiles on faces, you saw ambition, you yeah. saw tempo, uh, and you saw boys that are willing to, to work hard for each other. Uh, and that's ultimately what you get a performance like that. Yep. Uh, the set piece must have really pleased you, um, particularly the scrum was going forward brilliantly and a couple of tries from uh, driving malls as well. Yeah, look, it's, it's, 
we're trying to get to a point where we've got that balance in our game and it's key to have that ability when you get in positions yeah. to use a set piece and I thought we did that well today but as I said, we keep our feet on the ground. It's a great start to the season, nothing more, and we've got to work hard again this week. Yeah, uh, the forwards gave the backs some uh, some great front football and they really showed uh, how dangerous they can be, particularly the centre combination looked outstanding. Yeah, look, I, th I thought the game control from, from our halfbacks, I thought our invention, our, our speed onto the ball, our creativity, I think that you could use a lot of superlatives today. Yeah. But I think the, the biggest thing I'd say is the, the, the key for us now is to make sure we back this up. Yeah. Uh, we've, got, we've got another big London derby next week, uh, and so uh, we'll reflect. We'll, we'll, look at the good things but also look at the things we need to work on but, but overall delighted yeah. uh, as a performance um, as a coach how close was that to the way that uh, we want to we want to play our rugby this season yeah look we, we want to play ball in hand but we also want to use the forwards uh, to squeeze teams and, and as you say today I thought the balance was uh, was nigh on perfect and, and you get that momentum and that real ability then to, to pressure on pressure and squeeze yeah. teams and to squeeze a team that the quality of Bedford was really pleasing the second half. And as you said we'll keep our feet on the ground got a big London derby with London Scottish next Sunday absolutely it's, it's back at home and uh, it's, on, it's on the TV, so the, the, boys are, the boys know the importance of the game, they recognise the quality Scottish have, but it's just making sure we regroup on, uh, on Tuesday and, and go again next week. Well done today. Thank you, buddy.